Hello everyone, how are you doing today? My name is Andrea and welcome in today's Hatha Yoga class. I will stretch and open up your hips very, very much and lengthen all the muscles in your legs, in your spine. So get ready for a really stretchy practice today. And if this is your first time here and you want to do more yoga or pilates, tai chi or meditation with me, don't forget to press the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. So once you're ready, really make sure you're in a nice, comfortable seated position. If you need to sit up higher, sit up on the blocks or on the pillows, don't be shy, use them. They're very, very useful. Make sure your hips are happy because this is just the beginning. <laughs> so just lift the chest, push the shoulders back and down and let's move the head from side to side fast. So let's feel the nice stretch through the neck. And let's try to make half circles. So we're going forward first. And then back. slowly bring the head back to the center. Let's roll the shoulders backwards a few times. And then roll the shoulders forward. And slowly push the shoulders back and down. As you inhale, circle the arms up. Look up, relax your shoulders. And as you exhale, circle the arms down and drop the chin to the chest. And again, inhale up, feel your arms, feel your neck. Exhale down, try to smile as well. Inhale. Exhale. And just one more time. Inhale up. And exhale down, brilliant. Bring the hands behind you, push the shoulders back. And as you inhale, lift the chin, look up. And as you exhale, lean forward and just gently push yourself with those fingertips. You can curl the back and let's go as low as you can. As you inhale, slowly come up, push the shoulders back, lift the chin. And exhale down again, feel the hips. Inhale up. And exhale down. Now as you inhale, slowly sit up, lift the chest, look forward. And as you exhale, straighten the right leg in front of you. And you can bring the left foot against your thigh or you can bring it under if you need to bend your right knee gently. If your leg is straight, flex the foot, lift the chest and as you inhale, circle the arms up. And as you exhale, lean to the left, bring the left hand down and we're reaching, we're feeling the stretch. As you inhale, slowly come up, lift both arms up, relax your shoulders. And exhale, we're going to the left again and we'll do two more times. Inhale up. Exhale, lean. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. 
exhaling and we'll stay here for four breaths inhale lengthen the spine exhale try to relax a little bit more very good inhale exhale make sure you're not lifting your right hip okay make sure you're still sitting because that's cheating inhale Exhale, very good, and just one more breath. Inhale, and exhale, very good. Now, as you inhale, slowly sit up, lift both arms up, and as you exhale, circle the arms down. Now, we're going to lift the left knee and keep the left foot a little bit more to the left side, so don't bring it bring it against your right thigh and I need you to lift the chest and we'll be hugging the knee with the right arm and we'll be twisting back now you can leave the right leg straight or you can bend the knee and bring the right foot to the left side and that's it so option number one just keep the leg straight option number two bend the knee the left foot is still on the left side from the knee okay so lift the chest wherever you are twist to the left really try to pull the knee as close towards your chest as you can and we're looking behind us place the left hand behind you and let's stay here inhale exhale Inhale, exhale, make sure you lift in the chest, inhale, exhale, twist a little bit more and just one more breath, inhale, and exhale, very good. As you inhale, slowly come back to the center. And exhale, move your legs a little bit. So you may feel the hips. But don't get too excited. We'll stretch the hips a little bit more. So once again, bend your left knee. And I need you to bend your right knee as well. But as you sit on the mat, you can try to Bring the knee and the ankle in one line, okay? So the knees to the side a little bit and the arm shin is on the line of the mat. Now, what we'll try to do, it may not work, okay? We'll try to cross the left foot over so that the ankle is going to be on your knee and your knee about the ankle this may not happen though it's quite a, a little bit of pressure for the hips so maybe your knee is up here if it is just bring the hands behind you lift the chest it's okay or a very good thing is to sit up higher okay so we need to create the space so if your knee is up you can either just create a space by leaning back which is fine you will still feel it or you can sit up higher so the hips will be high we'll stay here so if you're in a posture and if you're comfortable you can lean forward but you can even bring the hands or the elbows down to the mat if you're struggling stay up Obviously, if your knee is up, you're not going to kiss the mat, okay? So you need to work on the hips first. So be where you are. Don't compare yourself to anyone else, especially me. <laughs> Four breaths, wherever you are. Relax, don't hurt yourself. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Relax. Inhale, 
like so. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Slowly, gently come up if you're leaning forward. And then let's release those legs. Yay! And I'm sure you can feel everything your hips your knees your ankles everything have a little water if you need it oh. and let's stretch to the other side straighten the left leg in front of you and you can place the right foot against your thigh or under whatever feels better for you if your leg is straight flex the left foot lift the chest really make sure you're nice and tall and I still hope you're smiling <laughs> a little bit as you inhale circle the arms up relax your shoulders and as you exhale lean to the right inhale we're coming up again exhale lean Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's stay here. Open the chest. Take a deep breath and make sure you're, make sure you're still sitting. Exhale, relax. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Exhale, brilliant. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And this is the last exhalation here. As you inhale, slowly, gently sit up, lift the arms. And as you exhale, circle the arms down. Very good. Now, we're going to lift the right knee up. Remember, keep the foot a little bit to the right side. You can keep the left leg straight or you can bend your knee, but don't move your right foot okay so one way or the other and then if you're kind of struggling you really need to sit up sit up on the blocks if you need to be clever be clever lift the chest and we're going to twist to the right hug your knee with the left arm and really pull the knee close to your chest so the leg is actually the knee is hugging oh well hugging oh uh, it's touching your chest and just place the right hand behind you and we're staying here inhale exhale inhale exhale inhale Slowly, gently untwist. Move your legs because you know what's coming now. <laughs> the evil one. <sighs> so once you're ready, I need you to bend and lift the right knee. And let's bend and open the left knee. So if you could just make sure that the knee and the ankle are in one line and it will form a triangle at the end. 
and then once you're ready try to bring the right ankle over of your knee so as you can see it's a triangle it's a nice little base if your knee is up you know the options lean back slightly or sit up higher and you can stay leaning back or you can lean forward so do what you need to do and we're staying here don't hurt your hips inhale exhale try to relax your body inhale Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And this is the last exhalation here. Very good. Slowly sit up if you're leaning forward and then untangle your legs. Move your legs. Have a little water again if you need it. Hey, I was still alive. <laughs> well done, you're doing amazing. Let's come to all four positions. So I need you on your hands and knees. Make sure the hands are under the shoulders, knees are under your hips. And as you inhale, roll the shoulders back and down and look up, lift the chest, lift the chin. And as you exhale, curl the back, look down and drop the chin to the chest. And again, inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Now, as you inhale, straighten the back. And as you exhale, step your left foot forward, right foot forward. We're going to end up in a gentle forward fold. We're going to stay here for five breaths. So feet and hips width apart, bend the knees slightly. You can try to bring the hands uh, in front of your feet. You can try to bring the hands on the outside of your feet. Or you can grab your ankles, or you can even hold your wrist behind your legs. It's so whatever feels the best for you. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. This is the last exhalation here. Now, bring the hands down from the outside of your feet. And if you have blocks, you can always hold on to the blocks as well. Now, I need you to step your left foot back. Keep the hips square and keep the left heel up. Okay, so when you push the heel down, your foot is going to... Our point for it. Okay, so the heel is up. We're trying to keep the legs straight, but don't lock your knees. So slightly bent, but straight. And we're trying to kiss the right knee. Okay, this is gonna be fun. 
As you inhale, drop the left heel down and lift the toes of the right foot up. And exhale, bring the toes up or down, lift the heel up. Inhale, lower the heel and lift the toes. And exhale, push the toes down. Feel the stretch again. Inhale, heel is coming down. Exhale, toes are coming down. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Push the heel down. Don't hurt yourself. And exhale. Push the toes down. Now bend the left knee. Bring the knee down. Bring the top of your foot down. And I need you to, if you can, push the hips forward, okay? So maybe you're higher, it's completely fine. And make sure the ankle is under your knee. Now we're going to stay five breaths. You can stay with the hands down, but if your back is curled, I need you to actually push the shoulders back and just look forward. So we're lengthening the neck as well. So don't let the neck or the head drop, okay? Or you can bring the hands just above your knee and you can push yourself up, okay? But don't hurt yourself, do what feels right for you. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Try to relax a little bit more. Don't hurt yourself. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Last inhalation here. And as you exhale very gently, bring the hands down. You have to work with your core. Tuck the toes of the left foot under and step the left foot forward. Now you will feel those hips. So just gently move the hips from side to side. We're staying here again. So again, you can bring the hands in front of your feet, to the side, around the ankles, or you can hold your wrist behind your legs. Five breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. here and exhale bring the hands down to the mat from the outside of your feet now we're stepping the right foot back the heel is up you can use the blocks but make sure the hands are in the line with the front foot as you inhale push the right heel down lift the toes of the left foot up very good. And exhale, bring the toes down, lift the heel. Inhale, toes up. 
exhale, heel up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. One more breath. Keep smiling. Inhale. And exhale, very good. Bend the right knee, bring the knee down. You can stay high, you can push the hips forward, but make sure the front knee is about the ankle. Make sure the back is not curved. Roll the shoulders, lengthen the spine. You can use the blocks, you can keep the hands down, or you can press just about your knee. And we're staying. Inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Brilliant. Very good. Last inhalation wherever you are. And as you exhale, bring the hands down. And unfortunately, we have to step forward again. So tap the toes of the right foot under. And step. Because I just needed you to work with both feet. Now. Let's bring the hands from the outside of the feet and step both feet back into a downward facing dog. Lift the hips. As you inhale, come forward into the plank or half plank. And as you exhale, lower yourself down to the mat and let's rest our hips. Keep the feet hips with a pad. Make sure they the hands are under the shoulders, elbows are close to your body. As you inhale, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back and down, lengthen the spine, feel the spine. Baby cobra, don't go too high. Exhale, we're coming down. Two more baby cobras. Inhale, lift, you don't even need the hands for it. Exhale down. Very good. Last one. Inhale. Make sure you're pushing the shoulders back. And exhale down. Now, if you want to, you can come higher. Ready? Inhale. Push. Lengthen. And exhale down. Two more. Inhale. Push. Exhale down. And the last one will stay up with this one for five breaths. So go higher or lower, wherever you can stay. Inhale. And stay. Exhale. So make sure the elbows are down. Make sure you're not opening the elbows. And we're looking forward, not up. Inhale. Exhale. Make sure the pelvis is still down, preferably your belly button as well. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep smiling. Two more breaths. Inhale. Inhale. And 
as you exhale very slowly lie there and then push yourself up to all four position be very careful you will definitely feel it you can move your hips move your shoulders or you can come down into a child's pose straight away it's your choice we'll take a few deep breaths in here so whenever you're ready just come into a child's pose bring your arms anywhere you want to and just feel your body feel your spine feel all the muscles around your spine gently sit up and sit in a butterfly position so let's stretch the hips this way again if you need to sit up higher please use the blocks use the pillows and first of all just rock move your knees as well we kind of adjusting our buttocks so try to push them back and back so you're really in a good position and then stop the rocking motion keep the knees as they are don't move your legs and just very gently lean from side to side it's a nice side stretch and we're actually stretching here but before we're just rocking the legs. There we go. And now I would like you to come back to the center and just slide hands down, maybe to your ankles, maybe you want to grab your toes, maybe you want to place the hands down on the mat, wherever you feel okay. So don't hurt yourself. And again, we're gonna stay for a little moment to just breathe slowly and with each exhalation try to relax even more let your hips open let the gravity open your hips let the gravity take your chest lower A deep breath in and then exhale completely try to relax a little bit more and then as you inhale slowly sit up and then as you exhale bring the knees together and then move your legs and well done have a little water and we're going to lie down. We'll still stretch, don't, don't you? Think about Shavasana just yet. Very soon, but not yet. So you can grab your blanket, but when you come down on the mat, hug your knees. And just very gently start to move your knees from side to side to rocking. And you can really feel the lower back, the middle back, even the upper back and the shoulders. So just relax all the muscles and gently massage them. Let this gentle massaging movement relax those muscles. We stretched them a lot today. We did so well. Hopefully you're wearing the cheat too. <laughs> Good 
because I can feel every muscle in my body. Slowly stop the movement, slide the hands under your thighs. And as you inhale, lift the legs up towards the ceiling and maybe massage your thighs, maybe your knees, maybe your calves. And then as you exhale, bend your knees again and just pull the knees closer towards the chest. Let's do this two more times. Inhale, lift. Feel the nice stretch in your legs. And exhale, bend and pull. Inhale, up. And exhale, bend and don't pull. Let's release. Bring the feet down to the mat. And the good news is, it is Shavasana time. So you can keep the knees bent or you can slowly straighten legs down to the mat. It's entirely up to you. But make sure you're in a comfortable position. Your hips are happy. Your knees are happy. There's no pain. There's no tension. And we are so ready to relax. Close your eyes. And just take a few deep breaths. gentle movement of your breath guide you into a deep relaxed state Once your body is relaxed, try to relax your mind as well. Forget about the world for a little moment. And just be on your mat.
And just start to breathe a little bit more deeply. Gently move your hands, move your feet, your head. Once you're ready, start to bend your knees, one knee, and then the other knee, and then rock your knees from side to side. And then just roll to one side, and push yourself up, and just sit with your eyes. Still close. And I hope that you feel very good. Very relaxed. And I hope that your legs are feeling very stretched. Your hips are open. And you are ready for those splits this year. As you inhale, slowly circle the arms up. Bring your palms together. And as you exhale, bring the hands of your third eye, over your lips, and your heart. Namaste. 